My name's Katie Barragrin, Superintendent, Head of Criminal Justice from Thames Valley Police. Victims quite often face the daunting prospect of telling the police that they've been subjected to domestic abuse and we would encourage victims to tell us so that we can help. What we've done in Thames Valley is try to speed up the criminal justice process so that when you do talk to us, if the case is serious and going to Crown Court, we do it as quickly as we possibly can. What this means is that in order to get justice for victims, we make sure our file quality is of the highest standard, we use our witness care unit to support victims as carefully as they can. This means that victims are able to get justice more quickly, they don't feel as frightened going to court, and actually they can then move on with their lives because they have got the court case over with as quickly as possible. We've been doing a pilot in Aylesbury Crown Court, which has meant that uh, over 83% of the cases that are eligible for the pilot have had guilty pleas and this is just fantastic for victims of domestic abuse. What we do find with domestic abuse cases is there is very often a coercive control element and they will get back together with perpetrators, often because they have to, not because they want to. And what we are doing by speeding up cases is ensuring that the crime which is in the court is dealt with quickly and often there are prison sentences, we can safeguard and we can make sure that that victim is looked after and doesn't have to go back to that relationship. My name is Francis Sheridan, I'm the resident judge here in Aylesbury. The protocol started almost by accident. The first case was when I received a phone call from the Deputy Justice's clerk to say that the police had a very vulnerable witness who wouldn't let the police even into her house. That's how badly um, she had suffered at the hands of the abuser. And as a result, uh, I directed that the case be sent to me not in a month's time, but that same day. So the defendant appeared at 10 o'clock in the magistrate's court here in Aylesbury and in front of me at 11 o'clock. I directed that the trial take place the following morning. The jury took about seven minutes and convicted. Uh, the evidence was overwhelming and uh, the lady suffered over a hundred injuries, separate injuries. As a result, uh, he was sentenced for attacking her within 72 hours of his last slap or punch. It was, if I may say so, a prime example of best practice that one could have ever hoped for between the police and the CPS. That was the start. And um, then with the consent and with the support of the defence solicitors, uh, the timetables were shortened in all domestic violence cases where they could be, but the uh, police have put a huge amount of effort uh, in, in, into this, led by Superintendent Barrow Grint, and as a result, the cases arrived with the CPS fully prepared. There was one very early on who wrote and said, thank you for getting my case on uh, so quickly. I thought you might like to know, Judge, last night my little boy uh, didn't wet the bed. That's the first time in four years that he hasn't. And that was the very human side of uh, these awful cases, uh, teaching the judge uh, something that, uh, of course, we know, but it's only when you see it um, firsthand and in writing that you realise just how horrid these cases truly are. In the course of the protocol, we had uh, 153 cases through on the fast track scheme, and as a result, uh, the uh, guilty plea rate rocketed uh, to 80%, uh, which is quite unprecedented and uh, received uh, much acclaim from the senior judiciary. And uh, as a result, uh, it is uh, a topic now that merits further investigation by the senior judiciary uh, to uh, see whether or not it can be used in other courts with other police forces, in addition to uh, Aylesbury Crown Court and the Thames Valley Police. My name is Dr. John Sinnott. I'm the Associate Director of the Secure Societies Institute at the University of Huddersfield. And I'm Dr. Maria Ioannou. I'm the co-director of the Secure Societies Institute at the University of Huddersfield. So the report was funded by the Police and Crime Commissioner's Office for Thames Valley and Thames Valley Police, uh, which was an evaluation into the domestic violence protocol being run out of Aylesbury Crown Court. It was our job to evaluate that programme and look at its effectiveness. That research was looking at uh, how domestic violence cases are managed within the court systems looking at the research literature in the area found that attrition rates in domestic violence cases are incredibly high. 
That means that uh, victims drop out of the system very regularly. In domestic abuse cases is one of the highest attrition rates throughout the criminal justice process. That relates to the fact that cases of domestic abuse can take a considerably long time to go through the courts and it's very hard to keep a victim engaged for that length of time, which is why you see such high attrition rates. Uh, this process in uh, Rural Native Elsby Crown Court in this pilot aims to address that by reducing attrition rates by dealing with cases in a much more efficient way. One of the most important findings uh, was in terms of the financial implications, uh, in terms of the reduction in costs uh, for um, uh, various professionals involved, so that will be legal professionals, uh, law enforcement personnel, uh, uh, psychological support for victims as well. Uh, but um, uh, imp very important as well is um, uh, the actual implication for the victims in terms of psychological well-being. Um, domestic abuse in itself is um, a very traumatic experience. The greatest finding from our report was looking at the collaboration between multi-agencies uh, from the police, from the courts, to the Crown Prosecution Service, to the, specifically the witness care units that are run in the police in Thames Valley who are vital to the process of keeping victims engaged and working towards uh, successful outcomes for victims. I would also say in summary, uh, the main findings would be an increase in guilty pleas, um, a reduction in financial costs and um, improved uh, psychological well-being of victims.